Hello and welcome to my channel Science Query. I am your host Dr. Asha. In this video, I am going to uncover the remarkable structures, properties and functions of the cell. Cells are the structural and functional unit of organism. Also carry metabolic activities and hereditary information. There are two types of cells, animal and plant cell. Now let us learn about the cell covering. The cell covering of plant is made up of plasma membrane and cell wall. The cell wall is a cellulose formed inert elastic and permeable membrane. It is located outside the cell membrane. The function of the cell wall are protects the cell from mechanical injuries, maintain the shape of cell and provide firmness, acts as a permeable veil and helps in movement of water and other substances. Now let us see the next covering that is the plasma membrane. The plasma membrane is a living, semi-permeable and elastic single membrane. It is made up of proteins and lipids that surround the protoplasm. Now let us see the functions of plasma membrane. First, it protects the organ lees present inside the cell. Plasma membrane is a semi-permeable membrane. It controls the exchange of various organic and inorganic materials inside or outside the cell. Now let us see the main organelles that are present in the cytoplasm of the plant cell and their functions. First is the vacuoles. They are large fluid holes surrounded by a single membrane of lipoprotein. They contain cell sap and maintain the cell shape. Vacuoles play an important role in excretion of plant. They are also responsible for various pigmentations of the plant. Now let us see the next important organelle of plant cells that is mitochondria. It is enclosed by a double membrane and is scattered in the plant cytoplasm. Mitochondria are of different shapes and size like spherical, rod, oval or even thread shape. The main functions are energy production, hence called the powerhouse of the cell, converts static energy of the food into ATP. Other function is oxidation of amino acid that is the breakdown of protein. Now the next plant cell organelles are microtubules. They are like tiny ducts in the cytoplasm of the plant cell. The main function is to transport water, ions and tiny molecules and also helps in the formation of spindle fiber and aster during the cell division. Now let us discuss one of the most important organelles of the plant cell that is the plastid. They are double membrane organelle participate in photosynthesis and food storage and pigmentation. Based on the type of pigment they are of three types. Chloroplastid contain green chlorophyll A and B helps in photosynthesis. Chromoplastid have red, orange and yellow carotene pigments responsible for the color of the flower and vegetable. Leucoplastid these are pigmentless plastid in the root of plants. It stores starch, protein and lipid. Plastid are of different shapes like oval, round and twisted ribbons. Inside it has jelly like substance called the stroma. This stroma contains proteins, ribosome, DNA, RNA etc. The stroma is having bladder shaped thylakoid which are stacked together as grana. Two granas are connected by stroma lamella. Now let us see the most important organelle of a cell that is the nucleus. It is the largest single membrane spherical part of the protoplasm. It is consist of nuclear membrane, nucleoplasm, nucleolus, the dark covered part and nuclear reticulum which is the chromatin wrapped part. The main functions are it maintains the metabolism also called as the brain of cell. DNA of the chromosome carries characteristics or genetic information of the species from one generation to next. Also plays an important role in cell division. Endoplasmic reticulum are cylindrical branched cellular organelles with single membrane. It is of two types, rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum. The main functions are to produce different types of cellular organelles. Rough endoplasmic reticulum transport proteins while smooth endoplasmic reticulum produces lipid and membrane. The next important cell organelle of plant cells are the Golgi body. Golgi bodies or Golgi apparatus are single membrane round or cylindrically dense enclosed organelle near the nucleus that assists in secretion. 
Golgi bodies of a plant cell is called dictyosome. Plant cells have hundreds of Golgi bodies. The main function of Golgi bodies are to participate in the secretion, collection and transport of various elements. There are special types of inclusions in the plant cell known as cytoplasmic inclusions. These are inert substances and are of different types such as stored food item like starch and glycogen, secretions like nectar, pigments and enzymes, waste material like tannins, latex and organic acid. Now let us see what are the organelles that are absent in plant cell. Like centrosome, lysosome, microvilli and pinocyte holes are absent in plant cell. Vacuoles are small in number but they are much larger in size. Before wrapping this video, let us summarize the main points in this topic. The plant cell is divided into two major parts, the cell covering and the protoplasm. The cell covering gives the shape and structure to the cell and divided into cell wall and plasma membrane. Cell wall is the rigid non-living part and plasma membrane is the semi-permeable living part. The protoplasm of the plant cell is consist of two major parts that is the cytoplasm and the nucleoplasm. The main organelles in the cytoplasm of plant cells are plastid, mitochondria, Golgi bodies and endoplasmic reticulum. The plastids are further divided into chloroplast, chromoplast and leucoplast. The next major organelle is the mitochondria, which is double membrane and scattered in the cytoplasm, also called as the powerhouse of the cell. Golgi bodies are the single membrane cylindrical organelle found near the nucleus helps in secretion. Endoplasmic reticulums are also single membrane and is of two types rough and smooth endoplasmic reticulum produce different types of cell organelles. Vacuoles are large in plant cells surrounded by lipoprotein membrane. The nucleoplasm part of the plant cell contains the nucleus. It is large, dense, carry hereditary information in the form of DNA. If you found this video informative and useful, please consider liking, sharing and subscribing to my channel Science Query. Thank you.